Hi everyone. Well, I have a project share for you and uh, a couple of projects that I made. Um, I used the beautiful digital images from Luisa Diaz and she's a uh, kitty scrap post on Zibit. And um, I just love this new design that she came out with. Um, it's summer theme with, with treats. So it's like there's ice creams, there's donuts, there's cupcakes, a beach theme. It's just beautiful, beautiful paper, and I just love it. And I've seen a lot of beautiful projects that uh, people in her design team have been making, and I just had to pick up a kit for myself. So these are the beautiful papers that you can find over at her um, at her Zibit shop. I will put the link down below, and it's just absolutely beautiful. I love it. This one has, um, it says sweet, sweet Summer. This has a little rose print. Um, this one right here says Sweet. And it's got donuts and cupcakes. Here is a, like a gingham uh, design. And it has donuts and cherries and uh, sugar heart-shaped cookies. And this one's got um, chocolate popsicles. Um, here's another piece of cake. It's just beautiful paper. Absolutely beautiful. So not only did I pick up the paper kits, but I also uh, purchased the Summer Fun Bottle Cap and Domino Collage Sheets. So I will put both of those links um, to the collage sheets and to the paper kits down below in the description box. So this is how it looks pretty much. I did cut into it. Um, these designs right here really really cute I did cut into them and this size right here is actually five by seven so what I did is when I printed it instead of printing the full sheets um, I just did half a sheet so the images came out to be about three quarters of an inch a little bit shy from three quarters of an inch and it's a perfect size um, to fit these little marbles and um, they're about half an inch uh, like a half an inch or three quarters of an inch diameter uh, image can fit in these little marbles and I picked these up over at the Dollar Tree so um, so and then also this I'm sure I could use this um, as little tags um, little cutouts and stuff uh, for my pages and then here is the full sheet this is it's like you can tell it's like big much bigger and this is actually for a dominoes but I didn't use dominoes because I don't have dominoes which is perfectly fine um, I use something else instead so um, this is just some of the images that are left that I did not use but I will use I pre-treated this so and also um, yeah this is how it looks bigger as well I did not use this bigger sheet for my project I use this little one and then um, the bigger dominoes so let me go ahead and share with you what I made. I was totally inspired by Anna and she's uh, Serenity Creations here on YouTube. When she was a designer for Butterbee Scraps, she would make these awesome charm tiles. Beautiful charm tiles. So I finally looked online and I actually found charm tiles from Beetleholic on Amazon. And they look like this. These are the tiles that I'm, they're glass tiles, and they actually fit the domino collage sheets from Luisa's um, Zibit store. They actually fit. I barely had to do any trimming around. Barely had to do any trimming. So these were a perfect size, and all I did was Google, um, did a Google search, glass tiles um, on Amazon. And then I just looked for the size that I was, I needed, and I found it at Betaholic. They have two prices. One is like three something. Um, I'm not sure if it was for four pieces. I didn't look into it, but I did. I did find another um, price from Betaholic as well for a dollar seventy nine for four pieces. So that was awesome. So I bought myself five packs of these. So um, here is what I made with them. I made gold charms. Let me go ahead and scroll in so you can see. 
I made myself little glass tile charms and they are super cute. I love them. I love them. So what I did here is um, I purchased these little bales. Well, they're not little. They're actually large heart-shaped bales um, from eBay. And I think I got these for $9.99 for 100 pieces. So, and free shipping. So, yeah. So, I purchased those gold ones. And then here is one of the images that I use from her collection. It says Sea Queen. And then I had this little um, resin hat in my stash. So, I thought that was perfect to add here. And then here are some dangles. So, I added a... Uh, umbrella charm and this I had in my stash I purchased it from a seller on Etsy um, it was like a charm grab bag and so she had a few of these umbrella charms in that grab bag then here is my chain my rhinestone chain here is a chain and I just added some bead dangles in coordinating colors I use mint green pink and crystal and then I have a little crystal dangle right here now, what you can do before you add your images um, onto the glass tile, you have to pre-treat them with Mod Podge, just one layer of Mod Podge. So all I did is I just grabbed a little bit of Mod Podge on my paintbrush and I just swiped it over, let it completely dry. Then I added a little bit of glossy accents on the back of the tile, adhered my image to the tile, and then I pressed on the on the paper to remove all the air bubbles because you will see air bubbles on your glass tile and you don't want it to die uh, to dry with those air bubbles on it so you just press on it and you know remove all the air bubbles and then let it completely dry after it completely dries and you could just go around and trim it with your scissors so there's no paper um, sticking out if you do get glue because um, I did on one of my tiles I have a lot of excess glue on my fingers so I did get some glue on the glass what I did is I just um, sprayed some alcohol on my mat dipped it with my um, with a cotton pad and I just started cleaning it around and I was able to remove all that glue uh, residue from the glass tiles so that's one then here's another one and this is the rose print I love it and then um, the rose print was a little it had all it has is like small little prints of roses and I felt like I needed something here, so I added some of my flat back flowers on it with rhinestones on it. These little doodads from my stash. So cute. And then here I just used one of Natalie's Rose Charm. And then I did the same thing. Added the same dangles and coordinating colors. And that's it. So basically all of them are the same. They all have the same exact amount of dangles. They have just the beads might vary based on the design and then I use this one this is the cherry with cupcake and donuts the little gingham one really pretty I used a cupcake charm from Natalie's shop put some bling on it and then um, there's my whoop, my dangles and I love using this rhinestone chain I just love it I think it makes these charms so pretty I just love it and I'm really loving using the gold findings as well. And then here is the Sunday with the cherry on top. And all I did was use a cherry charm from Natalie's store. And then I used the fuchsia bead here, red, red and crystal beads. And that. So that's my four little uh, tiles that I made. Uh, I just love them. They came out so cute. And um, then, also, what I did is I altered these uh, see, clothespins that I found at Michael's. And they're large, they're pretty big. Uh, they're about, um, let me see how tall, these are three inches. Three inches high by, by three quarters of an inch is wide. So, um, I just liked them because they were white, I didn't have to paint them. And all I did was I printed out these images in individual sheets 
and what I did is I imported it to my Word program on Microsoft Word and I resized the images and so I for example uh, for my three clothespins I used this design right here let me see if I put it to the side this design right here I also used the cupcake design and I used the rose design so I imported those three designs into my word program and I resized it so I resized it to three quarters of an inch high by two inches wide and that's how I was able to do that on my word program um, and this is what I made and they're all the same just that the images are different here's the rows I love it I just added Mod Podge to the clothespin adhere the paper trimmed it and then I went ahead and added it to the back side as well of course you have to let before you can start trimming you have to let the paper completely dry and then here right here is a little glass tie the glass um, marbles they're flat in the back that I picked up over at the Dollar Tree some time ago and my little itty bitty images that I resized as well in this one I used the picture gallery and I printed it out um, 5 by 7 and that's how it looks and it fit perfectly and again also you have to pre-treat this you add a uh, one one coat thin coats of Mod Podge. Don't over swipe it because you will um, the ink will bleed. So you just do it once, let it dry completely, then with your glossy accents. I don't have glossy accents, but if you have Mod Podge Dimensional Magic, this will work as well. And adhere the paper image to the back of a marble. And then you let that dry, you trim around the edges with your scissors carefully and then um, these are little brooch, uh, filigree brooch um, findings that I found over at uh, Joann's. They look like this and um, I adhered it to it and then I adhered my little my crystal dangles and this is from Michaels. Um, don't know if I have it here. had it on my desk but now I don't have it I don't know what I do with it but it comes in a pack of whew, six about 18 little dangles oh here there it is looks like this and it's like $3.99 so you can use your coupon with this I mean I love this stuff and I just added the little dangle here so there's the rose image that's one then I use this paper right here it's pink with brown lines going horizontal or diagonal and then I use the fudge and strawberry popsicle with the, the little cookie there and then also I added a little dangle and then this one has the cupcake paper <clears throat> and donuts really pretty and I use the cupcake image with my little dangle I just love these. Oh, they came out so cute. I was on a roll this weekend and these past couple of days just creating these. And it just takes time because you have to let them dry. But while they're drying, you can work on something else. Alrighty then. So my next project, I was actually inspired by this little piece that I have purchased from this store online that's called Misa.com or Miss A dot com m i s s a dot com and it's all it's all accessory store they sell accessories jewelries and everything is for a dollar um it's awesome it's an awesome site i've made one purchase from there so far um and in that shop i had purchased these little earrings they were actually earrings but i've used this for my embellished key planner charms and I had picked up this color, which is like a mint green, a very light mint green. And I had picked up ivory and pink. And I actually sold out. I have no more of the pink nor the ivory. And all I have left is this green one, which was maybe three pieces. So it was a pair of earrings like this for a dollar. So I asked my hubby if he could please carefully remove this resin piece, this resin flower, from the earring, which he did. He was able to carefully remove it. I made a mold of it 
So I used those three little flowers and was able to make one mold. And, and I love it. So every time I was playing with my resin, if there's a very little bit of resin left in my cup and I don't want it to go to waste, I will add it to this little mold and create flowers. So here are some little flowers. Well, I used all of the ones that look like that look like these roses. But I did make some flowers using the Martha Stewart mold as well. So I was alternating between this one and the rose. So what I did is I made my own little components. I love it. This is using the Martha Stewart flower and they look like this. The mold has these four sizes on it. Has these four sizes. So I use the most smallest one. That's how the mold looks like. And what I did is I used my pearl. Uh, this is for Milamito Pearl. And I used my rhinestone chain. And this is what I had in my stash. Different from the other one. And I just would cut one off. And I would use E6000. And these things, I actually found them at hmm, Joann's. They're, they're spacers. But they're made out of plastic. So in order for me to make holes in them, I have to use this little hand drill and this is actually for nail art to make holes in your nails so you could um, add dangles to them or charms to your nails so I had this in my stash already so with this I was able to make a hole and then uh, for the for the charm to for the pen um, jump ring to actually fit in there I had to use my bead reamer. My bead reamer looks like this. So I will put it in the hole and I will just keep trolling and trolling and trolling to make the hole a little bit bigger just so my, char my um, jump ring could fit through the hole. So I made this one. I made this one. Here's the rows of the mold that I made. And I made this one. I made more, but I used them for my next project. So already, so not, not only did I use that, but I also used um, these gold sequins that I had purchased from Natalie's shop. I don't think she has any more of these gold ones, but I used this as well. And I used the mink that I purchased on clearance from Joann's, the clips. And I made clips ultra clips and oh my gosh these came out so cute I just love how they came out so I'm just fixing one of my charms alrighty that's how it looks like I love it I just love it so there it is my little dangle that I made and I just added jump rings and then I added it to the clip so there's that purple one. Here's the white one that I made. So cute. Here's a pink one using the Martha Stewart mold. Super adorable. A green one. It's like a teal that I made. Flower as well. And then um, a lighter pink. super cute I just love these I think they came out super adorable and oh my gosh I just love them I love them completely so alright let me go ahead and scroll back up so you can see everything that I've made and I hope you found some inspiration with this I had so much fun creating these this week and actually I think I'm gonna work on something else from findings, I've been working for the past week on findings and you know on a little embellishments, and I think I'm ready to work on something else for now. So, all right, everyone, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful week. If I don't upload another video this sometime this week, I hope you all have a wonderful week, and um, thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, bye.